one of the most frustrating things I find this time of year is, you know, I live in a, a residential area and people, their idea of a garden, and I'm talking about a vegetable garden, seems to be make a wooden box, <laughs> buy 20 bags of black stuff from a store, put the bags of black stuff in the box, put the seeds in the black stuff. Yep. Right. And instant, instant garden. <laughs> and then their garden sucks and they don't know what. <laughs> Because <laughs> they, I mean, sometimes that black stuff in the bag is good soil, I suppose, but sometimes it's just black stuff in a bag. If you know more about soil, understand it a lot better, you will be a good, better gardener. It's just, it's all going to flow from that. Almost like in a martial arts, they're always like, you know, control your breathing and your balance, you know, and then everything else sort of comes from there. Right. Um, it's because it's sort of like the base of everything else. So question number one, uh, simple question, probably not the most simple of answers, but what is soil? Well, it, it's, of course, a very basic question, and it's not a big surprise to people. They know it has sand, silt, and clay in it. Uh, it also has some organic matter in it and some water, right? We all know that. What I think is a big surprise to people is that if we're talking about good soil now, 25% of that soil is air. Okay, so one quarter of it is air. And I think most people wouldn't even include it on the list of things that make up soil. You, you mean by volume, right? By, by volume, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the water and air is half of your soil, okay? It's huge. And I think most of us would think, well, how, you know, 90% of it has to be that black stuff that I'm walking on, but it's not, it's air and water. The other thing that we talk a lot about is the level of organic matter in soil. And organic matter is absolutely critical. And it's, it's one of the things that you know, we talk about in the book over and over again in, in different ways. But we think that, Jesus, soil must have a lot of organic matter to be good soil. But ideal soil only has about 5% organic matter. Now that, that's by weight. 10% uh, by volume, because organic matter tends to be light. Um, and that's ideal soil. Okay? And that's ideal soil that has a reasonable amount of clay in it. If you have sandy soil and you have 1% organic matter, you're actually doing fairly well, because you, you can't get the organic matter up past about 2 2.5% in sandy soil. Why is that? It, uh, it just de uh, degrades too fast. The sand doesn't really hold on to organic matter, whereas clay will essentially protect that organic matter from decomposition. I see. So getting a high level is, is not really that critical. We're only talking a few percents organic matter, but the difference between you know 4% and 5% is huge in a garden, right? So it is a small amount, and there is a myth out there that says, you know, the more organic matter we can put in, the better. That's not necessarily true. And you can have too much organic matter. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, you want a reasonable amount, but you don't want too much. Right. And why is that? Well, if you have too much, then you have to remember organic matter is not stable. So it's constantly decomposing, it's constantly being eaten by microbes and it's actually the microbe food. So you put a lot of this in there, you suddenly grow a lot of microbes, but they don't live very long, they die, they add more organic matter. And that whole process adds lots of nutrients. So the nutrient level actually goes up as you add organic matter and it can become toxic. I see. Yes. So you mentioned these boxes that people are building, these raised beds. And there, there are many cases of people who build those and they put you know, like 50% compost in there or manure. And then a couple of years later, they can't grow anything because there's so many nutrients in there, they're killing their plants. So you can have too much organic matter, right? So my rule of thumb is, is add about an inch every year on your soil, and that's lots. Right. Now, if you're starting a new garden, you might add more depending on how bad your soil is to start with. But on a yearly basis, don't add huge amounts. You just want a little bit added constantly. Every year, a little bit of organic matter. And then you won't have this issue of a toxic garden.